Yo, what is going on you guys? It's your boy King Sanders here and we are back with another day of sports betting. This is going to be for Sunday, February 27th slate of NBA and college basketball games. I'm super excited to hop into it. Um, I am feeling just a little bit better than I was yesterday, but still definitely definitely not where I need to be. So um, I'm going to be uploading this. It's another pretty early video. i um, going to be uploading this and going to be hitting the hay. So um, this one might be a little bit shorter, um, but I did just want to go ahead and say that as of right now, we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. We're less than 600 away, so if you guys are new, make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Um, another thing is I wanted to shout out all of our members. Thank you guys so much for giving a giving a, a small channel such a big chance, so thank you so much for all of that. Um, but let's go ahead and recap as of yesterday. Truthfully, another profitable day. Um, we ended up going two and one on the day, and the only loss of the day was a really tough beat, and we'll get into that. But first, we did have Jeremy Grant under 17 and a half points versus Boston. That one did end up cashing for us. Um, he finished with only like 11 points, so it was a pretty good call overall. And then we had Giannis over five and a half assists versus Brooklyn. Started out a little bit tough. Um, he only finished with like two assists in the first half, but then came out. And um, had at least four in, in the uh, second half. So that one ended up working out for us as well. But our one bad beat of the day was Arkansas minus two and a half versus Kentucky. That one was just tough. Um, if you guys were watching that, that game, the um, Arkansas was up by five. And Ty Ty Washington hits an absolutely ridiculous three um, to lose by only two. So... Um, we missed it by literally one point. There's just not really too much you can do about that. So, uh, we ended up going two and one. We had a little mini sweep here on the NBA. So hopefully we can have a full sweep today. I, f I found four really good plays that I like. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Our first play of the day is going to be Tobias Harris under 16 and a half points versus the New York Knicks minus 115 odds. This is one of the earlier games on the slate, so make sure you do get this bet in early if you do want to tail it. Um, Tobias Harris has went under this line in three of his last four games, and obviously they did just get James Harden on the roster, who is going to be taking up a decent amount of those shots. So I think Tobias Harris's role is even is even more reduced than it was before, as with you know a uh, MVP candidate and. Um, Joel Embiid on his team, and then obviously a ball dominant player like Harden. I don't think Tobias Harris is going to be seeing nearly as many shots. Uh, last game, um, which was James Harden's debut, he only did see nine shots and finished with like six points or something. So I think we do see much of the same here in game two of the James Harden Philadelphia saga. And um, New York. They do play at a really slow pace. They actually play at the fourth slowest pace in the entire NBA, so they do take away a couple possessions from the Philadelphia 76ers. Um, and they New, New York actually gives up the eighth fewest points per game in the entire NBA. And when it comes to the power forward position, they're pretty decent at guarding the power forward position as well. They give up the tenth fewest points per game to opposing power forwards. So, um, all these stats are kind of pointing in Tobias Harris's under, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Now, could he have a good night? Of course, but I do think that this is one where we can kind of take advantage of it. So, that's our first play of the day. Tobias Harris under 16.5 points versus New York, minus 115 odds. Our second play of the day is going to be Mason Plumley over 8.5 rebounds versus Detroit, minus 130. Um, he has covered in 10 of his last 12 games. He's been really solid at rebounding the basketball recently. And versus Detroit, he's covered this exact line in three of his last five games versus them. When it comes to Detroit, they give up a lot of rebounds in general. They um, give up the fourth most rebounds in the entire NBA. And they give up the 10th most rebounds per game to opposing centers. Um, so a lot of the stats are kind of pointing in the direction of Mason Plumley to hit this over, and he's been really good recently. So I could, I definitely think he stays on that trend. So that's going to be our second play of the day. Mason Plumley over eight and a half rebounds versus Detroit Pistons minus one thirty odds. Our third play of the day and final NBA play of the day is going to be Utah plus one versus Phoenix minus one ten odds. Um, Utah has actually covered in five of their last seven games. And as of right now, since it is just a plus one um, spread right now, it's basically a pick em game. Um, and if you look at just the Utah Jazz 
game log in general. They've actually won seven of their last eight games. So I think we see a, a pretty big um, value there. And Suns at home this year, um, they haven't really necessarily been the best at covering the spread at home. They are just 15 and 17 against the spread at home. And as a home favorite, they are 15 and 17 against the spread as well. Um, and following a loss, which the Suns did have um, recently versus the Pelicans, um, they are just 5-5 five and five against the spread. So they're not really great at those bounce-back spots. So I think we see a huge advantage here for a pretty good Utah team who has been red hot recently. So that's going to be our third play of the day. If you want to sprinkle on the money line, go for it. Um, but I'm just going to add a little bit more security with that extra point. So Utah plus 1 versus Phoenix minus 110 odds. And then our college play of the day. We're going to be taking Ohio State minus 3.5 versus Maryland minus 120 odds. Um, Ohio State, they have covered in four of their last five games, and they've actually covered in eight of their last ten. So they've just been a red-hot team. Um, I love this Ohio State team this year. And in conference play, Ohio State is 10-6 and six against the spread in conference play, um, whereas Maryland at home this year haven't necessarily been the greatest team. They are just 5-11 and 11 against the spread at home, and they're in conference play against a pretty great team. Big Ten uh, Conference, they are just 8-9 and nine against the spread in conference play. So that is our fourth and final play of the day, Ohio State minus 3.5 versus Maryland minus 120 odds. So that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you guys know whatever I post. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers, so we are trying to hit that by my birthday, which is March 13th. So hopefully we can do that. Um, if you guys, I tried to get to all your guys' YouTube comments as of yesterday, but if I did... If I wasn't able to get to some of them, I do apologize. I've still been really sick, and so I've been in been in my bed pretty much all day. So um, hopefully, you know, tomorrow will be better. Hopefully I'll just wake up and I'll feel fine. But for right now, I just still don't. So I'm going to upload this and get to bed. So this is King Sanders signing out. Peace.